South Africa, this is like 20, I came to South Africa 2001. It's a long time. And uh, if Nigerians, let's say Nigerians are involved in selling drugs, which means South Africans introduce them to drugs. Because no Nigerian have entered, in fact, as a matter of fact, no Nigerian that entered the flight come to from Nigeria to South Africa have seen drugs in Nigeria before. You don't see it. Nigeria is not a drug country because if Nigerians or the authorities got you a drug, you will be executed. So apparently we didn't see. I personally have not seen it before. So if Nigerians have come here and they start selling the drugs, quick means South Africans introduce them that this can make money. You understand? And remember that here is survival of the fittest. So we cannot say that the little percentage of Nigeria, 0 0.00001, that is South Africa, no, that is selling the so-called drugs, then every Nigerian are selling drugs. Personally, I'm into events. I'm a motivational speaker and a professional master of ceremony and program director. I have traveled everywhere in South Africa, still not in Cape. Last time I was in a place called um, East London, a place called Duncan Village. I did not see one Nigerian there, no Nigerian there. But I saw a place that is worse than Hillbro. Mm. That children are chewing drugs like choppies. Mm. Even the woman that don't dress like this because they will stab you with knives. You understand? I didn't see one Nigerian in Duncan Village, a place that is worse than Hillbro. People are chewing drugs. Is there any Nigerian selling the drugs there? No. It's a South African thing. And by the way, there are two port of entries where drugs are being imported here. It is either through the airport or through the seaport. Is there any Nigerian working in the airport or in the seaport? Mm -hmm. So drugs doesn't have wings to fly. <laughs> it is an organized thing that brings this thing into the system. <laughs> Because in a situation, if there's no organized thing that, you know, bring it to the system, this thing could have been cracked down for a long time. And it won't have gone to the point that you will see every Nigerian selling drugs. I don't know what is drug. I don't smoke. I don't drink. I don't smoke. So why should I do that? So the authorities know where these things are coming from. You understand? My brother, just to answer your question, it is not that Nigerians are every Nigerian is selling drugs. There are a few of them that are selling it. But let us not, you know, in fact, yeah, let us stop concentrating on Nigerians. We have the Bangladeshis, we have the Chinese, we have the Pakistanis, we have all sort of the people that are doing the same thing. The issue is Nigerian man is a loud man. Mm -hmm. Like even when I walk now, you can see that I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to take away anything from me. <laughs> Without even me introduce myself, you know that I'm a Nigerian. Even the way I speak now, you see I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> so that thing of, you know, trying to put that stigma, every Nigerian, no, it is totally, totally wrong. Not every South African man have abused his wife. I do I do motivational speak, even when I'm on the podium, I do bring couples out that say, Papa, Mama, how many years have you gotten married? They say, we have been married for 35 years, for 50 years. Have you hit your wife before? The man said, ever since I married my wife, this is my third finger, I've never touched my wife. It's not every South African woman that cheats on their husband. Mm. There are so many South African women, they don't know any other man, they save their husband. Well, we are not going to generalize everything that every South African man is an abuser. Or every South African woman cheats on the husband. The same way it happens on crime. Not every Nigerian commits crime. Another thing I want to talk about is ethnicities in Nigeria, about uh, in the politics. Most times, Nigerian politics has been, has been, you know, on the ethnicity. Igbos, Yoruba, Hausa, Igbos, Yoruba, Hausa. And more especially, the North is the Muslims, the South, uh, the Christians. So it is either you're supporting your Muslim brother or you're supporting your Christian brother. So that has become a lot of problem in Nigerian politics that even in this politics now, even not because of our principal who is Peter Obi, changed this narrative that obviously Labour Party is not talking about or, you know, or about tribalism, or about ethnicities, or, or in fact, or religion. It is a movement that want to change the narratives that the old people have already instituted for such a long time. So it had a lot of impact 
in our qualities. You understand? Yeah, yeah. yeah the last one I want to say. Yeah. Your previous one was the last one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>